Hi boys and girls, so today we are going to be looking at some base words and working on adding special word endings to them. Sometimes we're going to be adding the ending ed. Sometimes we're going to be adding the ending ing. And we need to figure out what we need to do to that base word before we can add the base end before we can add the word ending. So, these two words that I have on the board right here, stopped and stopping, let's see if we can figure out what the base word is. So go ahead and take a second and look. What word do you see at the beginning of stopped and stopping that is a word all by itself? If you said that you saw the word stop as the word and the base word, you are correct. Stop, stop, stopped, stopping. And of course we know that that ed can either say ed, d, or t. In this word, it says t, stopped. We don't say stop ed, we don't say stop d, we say stopped. So we see that when this is a special word because it has one vowel and one consonant. The vowel is O and the consonant is P. One vowel and one consonant. When we have a base word that has one vowel and one consonant at the end, we know we need to add an extra consonant. Add an extra consonant to protect that short vowel. If we did not add another consonant, it would say, stoped. We don't want to be stoped at the stop sign. We want to be stopped at the stop sign. So we need to add that extra P so that E cannot reach over and touch the O. That is what we need to do when there is a one vowel and one consonant at the end of a word like in stop. We have to double up that P before we can add the ED and the ING. Here are some more examples of words where we had to double up that final consonant. Let's see if you can find the base word in the word planned. Planned. Correct, it is plan. So we had to double up that N so before we can add the ED. We have to protect that short vowel from that bossy, bossy E. Next word, zipped, zipped. The base word in this one is zip, zip. And we had to double up that P before we can add the ED. Same thing with this last word, tugged, tugged. Here's the base word, tug, and we had to double up that G before we add the ED. And this would be the same if we wanted to add ING instead. Right now, my word is planned. I planned a party, but I can very easily change my word to planning, but I still need that double N. I can change zipped to zipping, but I still need that double P. I can change my word tugged to tugging, but I still need that double G. I am planning a party. I am zipping my coat. My child is tugging on my arm. Do you see how we need to double up that final consonant? Excellent. You'll get a chance to practice that in just a minute. Now, there's one more rule that we need to talk about before you guys can get to your own practice. These words don't have one vowel and one final consonant. What do you notice about these words? Let me read through them while you're thinking about it. Bake, name, hope, 
use. If you said that you noticed that there is a silent E in each of these words, you would be correct. There is definitely a silent E in each of those words, making the vowel sound different. This E is making the A say its name, so this word is bake. This E is making that A say its name, so this is the word name. This E is making the O say its name, so this is the word hope. And this E is making the U so it say its name, so this is the word use. Well, what do we need to do if we want to add an ED or ING ending to these words? Easy peasy. We need to drop that E and then we can add our ending. So now my word is baked, or I can say that it's Oh, I got to drop that E first and then add I-N-G. I baked a cake or I am baking a cake. The next word is name. We got to drop that E. I named my baby or I am naming my baby had to drop that E before we could add the I-N-G. Next one, hope. Drop that E and then we can add E-D. I hoped you would come to my party or H-O-P-E. Drop that E before we add I-N-G. I am hoping you will come to my party. And last one, use. Drop that E before we can add ED. I used the bathroom. I used my blanket. Use. U-S-E. Drop that E before we add I. N G. I am using my book to read. I am using the computer to watch my teacher teach. Isn't that silly? Okay, so let's review really quickly and practice some more words together before you do it on your own. On this board, I have several words that you guys can look at and try to figure out with me. If I wanted to say saved instead of just save, what do I need to do to add that ED ending? Well, there's not one vowel and just one consonant at the end. We have that silent E. So drop that E before we add ED. I saved the last piece of pizza for you saved. What about for chop? What do I need to do at the end of chop before I can add ed or ing? There is one final consonant and one short vowel, so I need to double up that final consonant, c-h-o-p-p, and then I can add my ending. This time I'm going to add I-N-G. My mom is chopping the vegetables. Chopping. We had to double up that P. What about with sit? If I wanted to say, I am sitting on the couch, how would I do that? Do I need to drop an E or add an extra T? Well, there's no E to drop, so let's add an extra T. Sit-ing, S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Trade, trade. I traded cars with my brother. Traded, what do I need to do? Drop that E and add E-D. I traded cars with my brother. Wave. 
What if I wanted to change wave to waving? I am waving at you boys and girls. Well, you're right. I need to drop that E and add I-N-G. Waving, waving. Pat, I am patting the dog. Or I patted the dog. What do I need to do? I see one vowel and one consonant, so I need to add another consonant. Patting. Very good. Just two more examples and then you're on your way. Rake. Rake. I need to drop that E and then I can add my word ending. Raking. I am raking the leaves. And last but not least, nap. Nap. You're right, I only see one vowel and one consonant, so I need to double up that P and then add ED. Napped. Yesterday, I napped on the couch. Napped. Napped. So keep in mind, when there's a silent E, we need to drop it before we can add ing. And if there's just one vowel and one consonant, we need to double up that final consonant before we can add ed or ing. Now, open up in your packets, boys and girls, and you will find this at the very beginning. It is page 180. You'll see 180 at the bottom of your page, and the title says, A Good Move. On this page, you guys need to figure out how to add ED and ING endings to these words so that they make sense in these sentences. Do your best. Good luck, boys and girls. <laughs>